Hey guys, this is Rahul and you're welcome to gomahamaya.com and in this beautiful tutorial, we are going to learn how to use this video element of Elementor plugin. So let's get started. So once you're on this page where you want to embed video, you have to click on the sections, add sections. So wherever you want to add a sections. So I want to add a section on the top of the page and there you can select the section structure. So I want two section structure. So first section structure, I'll select this. Then here I can add one element. Here I can add one more element. You can add some settings of this particular sections. But in this video, we are going to learn that video element. So I'll click on plus. There I'll type videos. So we get two options. This video and this video. This is basically WordPress default element. And this is element created by Elementor. So we'll import this one in this area and for this one also we'll, we'll try and have a look over this also. So we'll drag it and drop it here. Okay. So that we can understand what is that inside. So if you drop it here, you'll find edit option. You have to click edit and then add a title, upload the video from the library, click on the add video and upload option will be that you can upload the video. But I never recommend people to upload video or host video in their own hosting because your hosting is already slow, cannot be faster than Google or YouTube host. So loading issue will be there, but a lot of buffering will be there. So I never recommend people to use these things. So always use YouTube or Vimeo or any video sharing platforms. So I'll click on this one, edit for this section and there you'll find source. First option, you have to select source. So it's a Vimeo daily motion self-hosted. Self-hosted has already told you never use self-hosted. It will destroy your uh, loading of the page. It's going to create a distraction of customer mind. So always choose one of these video hosting platform I recommend using now. Now we'll learn from YouTube. So I'll click on YouTube and then you can paste the YouTube link. So go to YouTube and there you can select any of the videos. Let's go to YouTube and let's say this video we have right click on that and say copy the link address. Go to this page and there you say paste and you're like new video will be loaded in this area but i did the undo one so that we can learn on elementor one also and they'll get a small benefit next option we have start and stop time so when you are watching the video let's say you want to start it uh, from 10 seconds and you want to fix it to 25 seconds so write 10 seconds and there you write as yes, 20 seconds so maximum video section you'll find here will be 10 to 25 20 is not there so it will start from 20, 10 to 25 okay and it's got stop right so this is start time and end time next we have video options so video options is autoplay inside the autoplay option you are allowing your video to play automatically when someone enters inside the website if you enable this one so when to enable or when not to enable so in that first case, I'll uh, tell you if the video is there on the top, let's say if you consider this page, if I consider this page, the video is on the top. So in that case, I'll recommend you to turn it on. But if the video is there somewhere in the down section, so I never recommend people to use autoplay in that case, because when the people, they comes to your page and some music start and they couldn't be able to find where is that video I have to stop that I have to stop that I don't want I'm not interested I'm not interested like that so in that case you he might face some issue and he skips the website so make sure your customer should not face any issue or there's an option to keep it mute so you can enable from here mute the volume will be zero but it will be playing so there will be a loading issue autoplay option is only recommended when you are uh, having a video to showcase your work then only you should use autoplay or else no need next we have loop option it will keeps on uh, repeating the things next we have player control so you want player control of this one means these things will be there if you'll enable this so let me disable this one and you'll find if i'll play also you couldn't be able to find that 
uh, option which is there in the below section which was there in the below section okay so if you enable play controls then you have modest branding what is modest branding that is when you play any of the youtube videos you'll find this youtube logo okay so i'll uh, if i enable this one means this youtube logo will be hidden so let's say play this one and there's no youtube logo right modest branding we are removing right next we have privacy always turn on the privacy i'm not going to share my private data to youtube whether it's analytics or anything so always turn this privacy mode on and next in the suggested video click here and always select current video channel so it it is going to recommend your own videos if you not select this one any videos mean they are going to recommend other videos too next we have images overlay so there's already thumbnail of this video but if you want to change something so you enable that and you click choose picture select one of the picture from here let's say select this one and say insert so you'll find this one this things change the thumbnail change if i'll click here now it will start playing that video but if you're choosing that image overlay make sure you should select lazy load what is lazy load that is going to create a delay in the loading of the image unless until they reach that section let's say if if the image is somewhere here and i don't want it to load before the client reaches because it's going to save a lot of time in loading a page so page loading is very important uh, that's why i recommend people to use lazy load in their website if you haven't used the lazy load plugins go and download it's really important for seo factor and website ranking next we have images size don't use full image size always choose appropriate size so for measuring the appropriate size i recommend people to use a ruler ruler a chrome ruler you find start from this area and measure this area and set that image size there and keep a play option means uh, if you will not play keep this play options then it will be like uh, a normal image so people they won't play it make sure the play icon will be turned on if you're using image overlay next we have light box light box means is going to create a light pop up box let's say if i enable this if i'll play this one means it's going to create a light pop up window for my videos so if i'll scroll also it will be there on the top and there's a cancel button in this corner so this light box is not recommended for e-commerce website and all because it's going to distract the people and the people they will start uh, going to youtube they start watching so there was a kind of there will be a kind of distraction so avoid using this one next option we have here is a style so i'll click on style then we have expect ratio width to the height ratio so you can select one of these default one is the best one next we have css filter blur you can create a blur for this uh, thumbnail whatever thumbnail is there so you can maintain the css factor the color and all you can maintain next we have play icon let's say you have added some images okay and the play icon is uh, not visible so you can select different color let's say i need something black or red select a color which is like which is from youtube only so i'll select a youtube color a red one next you can select the size of that play button you want bigger smaller select the appropriate size next we have shadow and the shadow is for play icon so if you will enable this one means let's say select a horizontal shadow means this this small icon is moving let's see this side is moving here and there so you can make it more beautiful using the shadow option okay next we have light box setting light box means i told you already that pop up window was coming when you click this one let's say i if i click here means this pop up is coming okay so background color what will the background color so it's like you have to select the background color transparent one will be the best one which was there last time select this one and decrease this one this is the this so uh, select white and then you can maintain the transparency using this one okay so make it a little bit blurred 
rust is fine i guess similarly you can maintain ui color and ui hover color next we have content width so you can maintain the width of that box this pop up box and animations zoom in zoom out and next option we have advanced and advanced is general section which is advanced is general section which is going to be used in all the elements of elementor so i'm going to create a different different video for advanced motion effect background so you'll find all those video in the description box go ahead watch those videos so that you can use it here apart from that that there's nothing in the video section i hope you find this video useful if you did give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more further updates thank you